have any torches? I would like one. Or a lantern, would maybe. Would you believe that the only lantern that the only lantern I know about was just given to the merchant so that Annie so that she could travel to the next town over? Um I'll uh, ask Miss Baymont. There's a knocking at the door. Nathaniel? Hi. Um, are you heading out tonight, by any chance? No, why? We need to go to the, the ceremony. Walk we need with go, me. Well, we need to go to the manor. And we don't really have any good lights. I was wondering if I could borrow your lantern. But if you need it. Um, it's just a long way in the woods without a proper light. So far we have the candles. No torch, even. I think we're trying to get one, but we didn't really want to be going at night time, but with the ceremony. <sighs> it's been a busy day. Is the regent going with you? Yeah. Uh, we have to attend to dinner. There will be three of us going, or four of us going. How pleasant. You'd think that. <coughs> All right. Well, he seems to be having a great time. Of course. The ceremony, if you course. still have not been able to we need to be leaving within the next couple of minutes. Now we're actually heading out. Minutes. Yeah, yeah we're already we're late. We're back. <laughs> if you need it, then you need it. I won't deprive you of light, Miss Baymont. We will make do. I'll, take it. I'll take good care of it. Thank you. Do be safe going out there. That's what I'm hoping for. Make sure the region takes his medicine too. I gave it to him. Yeah, I got it. it. I got it. Yeah. Good. Hmm. Looks like we got a lantern, boys. Let's uh, head to the Bailey. He might be there. Have you seen the regent? Has the regent, uh, parted? <laughs> no, we're looking for him. He said to meet us at the tavern and he isn't there, so... 
Plenty of people who wish to speak to him. Yeah. I'm sure he's just delayed. It's, it's been that all day. If we want to gather by the gate, I'll look for him and then hurry him along. Of course. All right. Thank you. Mr. Faulkner. Mm. Let me speak with you about this. King. Nathaniel, you're out and about real late. Yeah, I'm looking for the too. regent. Well, he was, um, talking to us where we were talking, and then he headed, like, closer towards the lake with, um, I think maybe it was the doctor? I can't really remember. <sighs> okay. Jasper. Yeah, Jasper. They, I think they headed towards the lake a bit in that direction by the sawmill and stuff. Goal. I'm going with you to find the region. I must find Jasper. Let's go, then. There we go. Body system. If, uh, you need more food. Seems I shouldn't have given you my light in the first place, Nathaniel. Uh, <laughs> still need to make the trek. I kept seeing the sun get lower and no, oh, with everyone. It's myself, the regent, Doctor, oh, the cook, and uh, Cedric. I wanted to go before sunset so we didn't have to deal with, you know, everything. Whatever's out there. Yeah. This. But we get fucking. <laughs> Excuse me. We get. I believe. Busy. Oh. <laughs> Mr. Longback? Hello. Why are you walking around with a knife? Yeah. A ladle. But something that you can hit someone with. Need to. Hola. Excuse me. For the droid? In the region. The service will be done soon. It'll be up there. Not sure. He was heading over that way. Last I saw him. <sighs> Fuck's sake. It's a wild goose God, chase. I'm, just running circles. I'm enjoying this yeah. so much. <laughs> Brother. Alright, I'm yes. double timing it. Yeah, 
know, when they said come be a town, a, a servant here, I had no idea it would be a lot of this. I'm gonna duck my head in here. One second. Seen the regent yet? There's two of the party. No. God. <laughs> Fucking. I guess we're late. If he didn't come this way, he'd have to come past me. Yeah, we've done an entire loop of the village. He's busy talking to people. Maybe he's talking to somebody. Yeah. Anything left in the tavern, Mr. Longbeck? What a strange looking rock. <sighs> wow, that's crazy. It's very comfortable. It's it looks exactly like a chair. It's in the shape of a gamer chair. Oh. We're all over oh. the place. Well, to be fair, there are actually very strange looking rocks all over the place. <laughs> I'm keeping myself up. Slightly less there. comfortable. Uh -oh, leg strength. Holy shit. I was gonna say, I think that's more believable with me. Dug into the ground currently. <laughs> <laughs> Just blasted your heels into the dirt and with sheer willpower, you're staying up. I am an ostrich. I am doing an air chair. What's an ostrich? I can't say the other one. Might upset the, uh... <laughs> Nathaniel screeching. Oh, kangaroo. <laughs> I, was gonna say, I was going to say kangaroo. No, the... I wasn't sure where we were going with it. The reason why all of these villages are becoming empty. Fucking emus. Emu. Emu. Emus. Emu. Emu. Heard they won a war once. I keep seeing this giant shadow jump out of Caius and it's freaking me out. Are you possessed? Who? Uh, can't say I am. Who, me? Are you talking about me? Don't worry about it. How much that lantern cost you? Uh, nothing. It costs a please and a thank you. I asked late Miss Belmont for it, and she's agreed to let me borrow it because we're walking all the way to the fucking manor today. I mean, the, the hecking manor today. My character doesn't swear. Your character, Nathaniel. He doesn't swear. You've been lying to me all this time. But I swear like a sailor. Nathaniel. <laughs> that's, that's why I swear. Because I can't not swear. It is a fucking travesty. Isn't it? Oh, shit. F heck. Cut. Oh, bother. <laughs> Just... Bitch. Don't bother us and what? fuck oh our titties. <laughs> <laughs> I've, I have so much that I could say in this Father? moment, but all I can say is that there is one one form of the father who is highly immature. 
asshole. That was my action. <laughs> I didn't get scared. No. Pussy. Alright, looks like the vision's the coming. Oh, it's a bag. Car's up. <sighs> Butts up as well, Nathaniel. No, there's, there's a regent carrying it. at me. <sighs> he just go come to LT. Point. Point <laughs> at me. <sighs> he just go come to LT. Point. Point <laughs> at me. Highly <laughs> <laughs> immature. Right. Lovely. Highly immature. Right. Lovely. Come in my face with just as confused as you are. He's alive. How did he do that? Fuck me. Let's go, quick. That's all I got. Well, let's just say I don't like living on death on pain. I just can't be Jesus, right? Now's the time to go if you're going. Boy's back. <sighs> Mr. Faulkner. Mr. McCord. but okay. <laughs> Alright, well, this makes sense. I'll take the lantern and go up front. It's Miss Baymonts. I know, she told me. Alright. Moon's almost up. We should be good. <sighs> good luck. How's to you? Got your back. Let's go. You'll have to give me directions. My mind's fucking. Safe at the travels. Stay on the path. Have fun, hunters. I know I will. You uh, haven't taken this road for a while, have you, sir? No. <laughs> How are your legs feeling? Fatigued and tired. Hmm. Just wait till we get there. When we do, you stay as close as you can. Of course.
You're right here, sir. DM on station. Probably doesn't matter, but I'm letting you know. <clears throat> Brother Andrew gave Harcourt's uh, um, his uh, holy uh, whatever necklace or whatever it is, and he's wearing it under his outfit. Understood. Tracking. This path many times. Every two days. <clears throat> well, I should say at night. Not at night. Especially not since. Well. Everything. I. Not a I fan of have. being outside at night time. I don't think anybody is. Hmm. very least it should be a nice warm meal when we get there it's supposed to be me being this new assistant Back there. The body's quite ripe. <sighs> yes, I know. More than likely, the lady will want to make sure it gets its proper rights. Nathaniel, did you make sure that the Frisian got his medicine from Miss Baymont? I have it on me. I, um... <clears throat> yeah. It's got it when you need it, sir. Other than that, she was very much not, uh, not very happy. She wants to square everything away. Um, 
I think she mentioned Kaylin as well, but I can't exactly remember the context. Not bringing her or anything like that, just that she needs to be dealt with, as she always says. Oh, well. Yeah. Um. <clears throat> we will have to make sure that uh, we see to our demands. How far away are we? Uh, close to halfway. Half bloody way. Yes, sir. Maybe I should have listened when people asked for a horse and buggy. Would have been nice. Have you walked it often? Other than yesterday, no. I enjoyed my time, though. Yesterday? Yes. You were at the manor. Careful, it gets steep. Yep. <laughs> Easy does it. There's this uh, bit at the very end where the track goes back on itself several times because the manor's on top of this big hill. <laughs> Will you direct me? Yeah. Unfortunately. Only because we thought the Lady Blackwell might have been in danger. I... Good reason to run. Fortunately, that was in the middle of the day. What? I feel like I'd trip over if I tried to run this at night time. say I didn't trip over at least once. Well, don't trip over it now. Especially not now. Uh, apparently, the, uh, the tavern cook before you uh, took a tumble down this, uh, there's a kind of a half cliff face on the right here coming up. It's a good 20, 30 foot drop. Were they okay? Yeah, they hurt themselves, but that was before I was involved. I don't know if you're in charge of making paths and stuff, but maybe we could find a shorter route. 
It's not really up to me. The way things work is I get told what needs to happen and I try to make it happen as quickly as possible for the lady. <clears throat> I'm sure there are more pressing matters tonight. Just old. <laughs> Morgan's killing me. You may both. So we're close. Uh, I think this is the halfway point. Yeah. Definitely the. Careful on your right and where the cliff face is. Hmm. Understood. Yeah, right here, sir. I'll see you there. Yeah. Careful on your right. I'm starting to feel guilty for making you run this. No. <clears throat> I'm not opposed to a horse if you want to buy me one. Exactly. Maybe a, even a donkey would be nice. I'd take a big dog at this point. Mr. Harcourt, can we get a dog? I'll take care of it. We'll treat it very nice. Until the town decides to try and eat it. And then I'll cook it. What? Uh... Uh, so I wasn't really where the conversation. I wanted that conversation to go, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> Don't uh, you have a horse, sir? I do, but I need the ferrier to take a look at it. Hmm. No shoes, no horse. My father was a cobbler. That's not the kind of shoe he's talking about. Har har. What are shoes, boy? Oh, the blacksmith's job. This is where it gets steep. And windy. We're about a third of the way, sir. What about a third? <laughs> no, we're nearly no, there, no, sir. No, I don't. I... <laughs> That might have been the meanest thing I've ever heard you say. Nearly there. I forgot to tell him that if we went right, it's actually just a big loop. Yeah, we were supposed to go left way back. No, we're, we're nearly there, sir. Probably about a quarter of the way left. I was about to shoot myself. <laughs> it's pretty bad, isn't it? At least made the gun for us. Yeah. How many bullets you got in that thing? 
three in total, which means one of you is gonna have to deal with it. That's okay, you have a sword. I'll get creative. Maybe we can all line up. Well, if two of you were to line up, one person could probably make a decent shot. I'm not happy that this is the turn the conversation took. Woods are likely to kill us on their own. Sorry, Lady Blackwell, we couldn't make it here because everyone killed themselves on the way here. What was the word she used? Uh, useless and expendable. That was to you, in all fairness. Uh, to, in all fairness, she said everybody in the town was useless and that I was expendable. Well, I wasn't in the town at that time. Oh, congratulations. You found a way to not be useless, Nathaniel. Very proud of you. That's basically my job. Firm grip. Yeah. Firm as I can have. Ah. Uh, is it dripping? Probably. I wouldn't think so. That should be all done with by now. Fair point. The first time I came up here, I pushed a cart this entire way, thinking that there wouldn't be supplies there, but there were, so I pushed a cart for no reason. And then I had to push it back. For no reason. No, oh, there wasn't for no reason. Remember, Nathaniel, you're not useless. There's no way it could be for no reason. Players, at this point, go ahead and request on Sprixer. We'll get in and back into the next map as quick as possible. Poof. I can hear you back there, Hunter. <laughs> I can smell you.
Poggers. I fucking love this. Every time I look back towards the fucking town, I just think. <laughs> it locks up my whole PC. Uh <sighs> Isn't this fun? <sighs> We're gonna take a seat, chat. <laughs> Lady's gonna kill us. Fuck the lady. Bitch. Yeah, can you fuck off, please? Can you go away? Can you fuck off? Can you go away? Can you fuck off? Can you please fuck off? Can you get out of here? Can you get out of my fucking face? Can you go away, please? Can you fuck off? Will you let me close you? Can you fuck off? Can you fuck off, please? Can you go away? I'm trying to do shit. Can you fuck off? Excuse me? Can you, can, can you go? Can you go, please? Excuse me? Let me go, sir. Excuse me? You can't let me go? Okay, we're not doing that, I guess. Enjoy watching if the game hates you. I, you said that before, Cro. <laughs> no. <laughs> words in Amelia's accent, so I was like, fuck. Cunt. Shit. Bitch. Bitch. And then out of the fucking darkness, all I hear is... Dick. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, whoa. I was... Spooky dick. Ghost cock. It would have been, 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 been even funnier if he just r ran past you and went, technology! Oh, I don't have my Dude, fucking ooh, shit. God damn it. That's rude. Hey, you can figure wow. this out. Yeah, yeah, ghost cop. Ghost cop. Okay, kid. Hey, wow. body. Don't desecrate the Honestly, dead. Dude, fuck should... him. He's a woman hey, kid. Yeah, fuck I believe that is everyone. I'll have you know Do you I think? was a woman yeah. of Bringus. Uh, no, you're a woman. Yeah, but he a Bringus. 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 Bringus was in the yeah. woods. Yeah. I recall. I encouraged him he to do He should have teleported with us. He was right there. I'm here. I, that's fine. Oh. Never mind. I was trying to hide and be secret, Dave. It's fine. Whatever. Oh it's okay. God. But it doesn't matter. I heard you talking, and I thought you were Everyone stuck in the walls. I didn't realize you were down there. Yeah, well, now I know. We knew you were there. We just didn't know why. Followed the Jeremy White walk. He has a lantern. I was okay. Yeah, I have a lantern. It's off. It's off. Is that supposed to be visible? I thought you were a freaky guy. You walked right lives. past me. You walked right past me in plain view. I was just okay, like, lantern or no. That was fine. Like, I'm just trying That's to keep it a secret. Ain't no secret. I was trying to keep it a motherfucking secret. To be fair, I would have seen Yeah, I know, because it's got, it's got a yellow one. Look at that. I can't turn it off. What do you want? I'd be busting it. What do you want? 
I want to kick your ass, boy. Come on, let's go. Come on, let's kick your ass. You kiss your ass. And strong is the man. All right, the rules are no face. Yeah. That wasn't oh, your face. Well, that was rather anticlimactic. <laughs> That's how I feel about that. Nothing to the face or your chest. Well, fair play. You know what? I didn't specify that. It's fine. That sucks. I wish I wish I I wish I wish the lantern didn't glow yellow even when it's off. That's that's kind of cringe. Pretty cringe. How many times? How am I supposed to do anything? How many times has Haven called you Jerome today? I don't know. I love it. Jerome. That's what I'm doing. Jerome. It's spelled Jerome, not Jeremy. Jeremy is with a G-E-R-M-Y. Where are you trying to spell my name? Mr. Wadcock. My massive dog was scraping across the road. What do we do? Did we hear those trenches being dug behind us? No, no, don't mind me. You're just irritating. What do we do not talk like that? Or Bunzork's gonna kick you off the stream. He doesn't like when people talk like that. Oh no. Talk white, what? <laughs> white jeans. Like Alright. Blood yeah, talk. Sure so funny. I'm not go gonna ahead. name names. Just I'm trying to honor. stay in character. If you guys go to oh, town, there bad. will be one called... Oh. my block button. Road to Manor. Road to Manor? Road to Manor. <laughs> Holy shit, is that Jeremy Whitelock? <laughs> Oh my God, Why is he here? It's literally Jeremy White. Like, <laughs> these fucking. I need my lantern. Yeah, these lanterns are doing shit. Where do we Lomi's awesome. Oh, it's a full moon now. DM. 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 Avatar, but still, it's funny. Thanks. Why does my Damn. Damn. Exist? Damn. Down there. Down there. What do you have a knife? Cards are going back up. Three. Uh, uh, six to Haven. Right Assume the position, Nathaniel. Uh, have you seen the position? Do you like my LED? Uh, Alright, here we go. <clears throat> Guards up. Holy shit, there's a Jeremy White Long. Alright, let's go. <laughs> Just up here, sir. Right. Carefully, it's steep. Mm -hmm. <sighs> Watch yourself, don't want to slip off now. Say the word, sir. I'm fine for now. Then they say the mountain air is supposed to be good for your lungs. <clears throat> no. It's bad. I think you need most of your lungs left for that mud. One point.
point, I, uh, had that blasted fever. I wasn't quite in the same sense. Survived it. Good. Survived it, I. Somehow. Should be coming up on the manor soon. Oh, you can see the church from here. Normally. Bastardly dark out here. <clears throat> There's light in the windows there. The gate to the place is unsettling. It's always open when someone's expected. And nobody comes here who isn't expected. Cool. You can't Just quite put your finger on it. There's something about the manor. Anytime you manage to pay a visit, something's off-putting about it. Maybe it's the sheer size of the building. Maybe it's the emptiness, knowing that there's one lonely widow living on the inside. You never quite figured it out. Allow me. Gentlemen, a pleasure. Please come in, come in. Certainly, I thank you. I cleared the road itself. It got you lost on your way here. No, oh, no, we made it just all right. Good to see oh, you again, sir. Dear. Yes, what? Oh, my, what a powerful oh, scent. <clears throat> the lads are uh, terribly sorry, best. sir. Yeah, well, I uh, think I'll think of it. Um, certainly not that way. Uh, if you want to put it in a storage room over there, I think that's the best place for it for the time being. Uh, Aye. The lady herself may countermand me, uh, obviously, but uh, for the time being, I think that's best. Sir! I don't I apologize think for that the introduction. Trust place, me. Uh, to make your acquaintance, Your Honor, I am uh, Anders Stolkwell. Uh, this is... This is so cool. Basically empty. One of my least favorite rooms yeah, in just the entirety of this map. Put it down here. I hope, uh, well, I, I don't want to spoil the dinner conversation, but I hope we have uh, an opportunity to speak. Uh, lads, if you would be so kind, um, it seems so dreary in here. Do you think you could open up some of the windows? Of course. Uh, some of the curtains or something like that. I know it's dark out, but a little bit of starlight might give us a bit of ambiance. Uh, well, obviously, a uh, fine dinner like this needs as much mood as it can get, right? Uh, absolutely, sir. Uh, I won't keep you anymore, please. Uh, to follow me, sir. We'll uh, make our way to uh, Lady Blackwell herself. How was the trip? Let's just uh, <clears throat> try and play it low key. has gone straight to your uh, faculties to begin prep. Wonderful, Nathaniel, Cedric. Uh, 
Please light some candles. See to it that my stubby and a few find their way onto the table. Ma'am. You gentlemen, uh, clean yourselves up. We have a moment. We could open the us. windows in here this way. Be excellent. Grab yes. the candles. Yes. Um, do you want to... Yes, I'll get to the windows. It seemed like such a lovely evening earlier. Perhaps I should give you to her. It has been a while since you've been here. Well, and I, I find myself uh, uh, confined to reading with Though faint, you can hear the voice of Lady Blackwell calling out for assistance. <sighs> Hang on. Did you find candles, or...? Uh, there's more in that drawer. Just grab a couple. Nathaniel! Apologies, ma'am. When I say candles, I mean candles. It is very rude for my guests to be in there in the dark. Apologies. There is a particularly dark corner. By the window, I opened the main blinds, but I wish for you to open the second pair and put the candle there. Of course. Post haste. Find yourself lacking the pleasures of proper civilization here in Canada. I've been astounded at it. It's just the the welcome that I've received from Lady Blackwell, and the opportunity that presents itself too. Uh, the, the way that she's spoken of. of how important the town is. How many lives that you have, that you hold in your hands, sir. I, uh, I have to say, I feel like, uh, I feel like I, I myself am blessed to even uh, have heard the tale, let alone be offered the opportunity to help in your noble endeavor. Oh, yes. The, uh, town has stood as long as it has because of her testament to the Lady Blackwell's cunning and uh, care for well, I have met few, met few women who have the uh, acumen that she has for this type of thing. I, I can tell that she was, well, even perhaps when her late husband was alive, she was the real power in this place, uh, sure as can be. Uh, there will be no arguing that, sir. It truly is a shame, though, that Nathaniel. the way things have fallen on hard the... times here. Notepad on the desk in front of you appears to be much older and worn than all the other books you used to see throughout the manor. A whole load of servants and entertaining nobles. I imagine, my lady, it was a beautiful thing in its day. What are we talking about? Oh, uh, your spectacular manor. How, how wonderful it must have been. When everything was full. Uh, Yes, well, the hope is that we get it back to such things. Nathaniel, show yourself out. 
Of course, ma'am. How goes it? Good. We're almost done. I just need to stop the stews, but I need water for that. Where do you normally get water from? Don't know. Never had to get water. Usually it's in here. It's fine. I think a good one comes in. Sure. Let's keep being us. Uh, 
Take this bread over here and put it on a pan. Throw some oil onto it. Throw some salt and pepper into the oil. Tie it shit straight into the fire. We need water. God. Ensuring the survival of Blackwell. You're saying you need. Dad. Keep things on track. Issue heavy. Take the rest of this toast. 